We all know this typical image of a computer freak who hacks into computer systems in movies in no time at all or who has written some large web application in a flash. As you can probably imagine, this doesn't really have much to do with reality and that's why in this video I just want to talk about what programming actually is, what the whole thing actually looks like and I would like to answer the question of whether programming for you might be something you should learn. Be sure to stay tuned, it will get exciting. Before we get started, I would like to point out that as a Java programmer, JSparrow will probably be one of the best Eclipse tools you will ever need for Java. You can use it for 14 Java versions including Java 17. JSparrow is available for free and suitable for both beginners and professionals. The trial version includes 20 free refactoring rules that you can use in Eclipse without limitation and that will help you with code smell, clean code, bug fixes or code refactoring. If that sounds interesting, then test JSparrow completely free of charge and click on the link below and see for yourself. Hello and welcome to the JSparrow Start Programming YouTube channel. My name is Ben and in this video I will explain what the everyday life of a programmer looks like. In the movies, it always looks like this. But the reality looks more like this. As you can see, there is quite a difference between reality and what's being shown on TV. But programming is by no means boring. On the contrary, programming is actually very very exciting and a lot of fun if you're the right guy for it. First of all, for everyone who doesn't know what programming is. In programming, we use a programming language to write code, which is then executed by our computer step by step to solve any problem with it. We tell the computer exactly step by step what it has to do in order to solve this problem accordingly. In other words, we use a programming language to write programs that solve a wide variety of problems for people who work on computers. Any software you use on your computer was written by a programmer. For example, your word processing software was written by a programmer, or your entire operating system, Windows, Linux or Mac was written by a developer. Or video software, that was also programmed. Everything you see on your computer was programmed by, yes, a programmer. As you can see, there are absolutely no limits to creativity when it comes to programming. Because every program idea that you have can be implemented with a programming language. And if that sounds interesting or intriguing to you, then that's the first indicator that programming might be something for you. If you also enjoy solving complex problems using logical thinking, then programming is definitely something for you. Because that's exactly what you actually do all day when programming. Contrary to what is always shown in movies, a programmer does not hit his keyboard all the day and is constantly coding. Most of the time as a programmer, you're actually busy thinking about problem solving techniques that you can use to implement into your own software. In other words, you don't hit the keyboard all the time, but think first and then write down your thoughts in the form of code in your program. Programming is therefore not an action-packed activity, as it is often suggested in movies. It's just much more of a relaxed thing where you sit in front of the computer, have to think a lot, go through logical processes in your head and then implement them in the form of code. In addition, there is the fact that programming gives you a great deal of insight into other sciences. For example, for certain programming activities you need game development, often maths as well, which means you can delve into other subject areas that have nothing directly to do with programming at first, but you can then use them in your program code to do great things with the program. Personally, for example, I was really bad at school in maths and only got bad grades because the subject was simply not tangible for me in theory. But when I was programming, I was able to visualize the whole thing and make it tangible. That was always a lot of fun for me personally and so I also learned to love something I hated before, maths. If that doesn't sound boring and dry to you but rather fascinating and exciting, then programming is definitely something for you. And then I can also recommend you to stay here on the channel because we will bring a lot of coding related content in the coming weeks and months which can be very useful for you. That's it for the video, I hope you liked it, if so I would be very happy if you subscribe to the channel and I would also be very happy if you gave a thumbs up. Until the next video and goodbye.